It was another special week in UMAG, underlining that Croatia, a small nation, continues to have a big impact on world sport. Its tennis stars have been making headlines for almost 25 years. The likes of Goran Ivanisevic, Ivan Lubacic and Mario Ancic led the way, inspiring today's generation. We had always great uh, players, uh, you know, from Croatia, and uh, starting from Goran Ljubicic, uh, Ancic, all, all those years. To have so many great athletes, uh, great tennis players uh, in, in Croatia in the past uh, 20 or 25 years, it's, uh, it's a huge thing uh, for us and for tennis in, in Croatia. So uh, tennis is a really very good ambassador for, for Croatia in the world. When you've got role models like that, then you feel that, well, if he can do it, I can do it. When you're growing up and you see them playing on TV, you have a feeling you can, you can do it because somebody already did it from your country and then it's all up to watching TV and hoping. Croatia was firmly in the spotlight in New York last summer when Marin Cilic lifted his maiden Grand Slam title at the US Open, helped by a legend in his corner. Yeah, absolutely amazing achievement and then I was all, all the time feeling that uh, I'm close there, I'm playing well and if I'm going to be playing really well I can beat those top guys and that you know, happened in New York. Um, I played the best tennis of my career, um, played the last three matches uh, amazingly and it was just a feeling on the court really, really good and that's uh, I think the most wonderful feeling a player can have to, to win a Grand Slam. It's unbelievable. I still, you know, people that congratulate me and then I still see that he won US Open. But the way he won US Open, that's uh, so impressive. He was just unbelievable. The last, actually, 10 sets, he played the best 10 sets of his life. Uh, many people uh, here in Croatia really liked what uh, Marin did uh, at the US Open. And uh, uh, it could be seen uh, very easily everywhere when uh, he goes around. Uh, he's uh, very much recognized, of course. Uh, but uh, it is uh, very good for the tennis atmosphere uh, in Croatia because uh, he did so many good things. I am really proud of him and uh, that everything we work hard is paying off. To be able to win that positive energy, that uh, good team motivation and everything that was surrounding me, everything was so good and uh, all the things I think uh, clicked in the right spot. Uh, I was feeling great on the court, enjoying uh, every match and just uh, had a big support from my team and I felt it on the court. Goran was one of the great characters of the game. He's always made a point of helping the uh, younger players from Croatia. There's a lot involved. It's not, when you're the, a player at that high level, you're not just a player. There's far more involved in the game than just the game. And um, Goran uh, is able to uh, advise how to deal with a lot of situations. I cannot sit quietly, you know, I have to, you know, stand up, do something, it's me, you know, uh, hoping that he's going to perform well like he did. And uh, then uh, my job is much easier when he plays like that. Cilic has not been alone flying his country's flag. Compatriot Ivan Dodig lifted the French Open doubles title this May with his partner Marcello Mello. Whilst world number 23 Ivo Karlovic is enjoying one of his best ever seasons. And with 18 year old Borna Cioric's rapid rise, Croatia's future is in safe hands. It's great because we have a, it's a Croatian player, uh, I know Borna, a couple of years. It's really good era for tennis. A lot of good kids are coming and from for us, for me, for Croatia, it's especially important that Borna is doing well and uh, is our future superstar. Borna is coming, uh, young, young kid, you know, like who, who will be great in the future. And uh, obviously, we have some talent for tennis in this country. There's um, always some pressure, but I think that's, um, that's just normal pressure which I have uh, on every match. So when I'm playing here, it's, uh, it's just something uh, even more supportive for me. Surely more success lies ahead for Croatia, a proud nation whose passion for tennis burns as brightly as ever. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the action keeps on coming and we're in Gstaad, Hamburg and the USA. Atlanta kicks off the tennis summer stateside, so we preview this year's Emirates Airline US Open Series.
Don't forget to log on to the all-new atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.